what's going on YouTube? This is Eric Marklin again with Marklin Designs of Atlanta doing a quick video on the Rockford DSR-1 digital sound processor. I had the opportunity to install one yesterday on a vehicle. Uh, just kind of give you one of, you know, give you my thoughts and opinion on this product. I'm very, very impressed by it. Uh, really wasn't sure what to think the first time after about an hour playing with it. That includes install time and setup and tuning. I was very, very pleased with it. So let's check it out and let's talk about it. All right, so here we have it. This is the DSR-1 all-in-one digital sound processor and amplifier replacement interface. Uh, this is a really cool unit because you can use it as a standalone or you can actually, uh, or should I say custom install, no matter what vehicle. Or you can actually buy, they make vehicle specific uh, plug and play harnesses for this as well. Um, just like with the Maestro RR, when you buy, you can buy like the Chevy, I'm sorry, not Chevy, but you know, actually the Chevy or the Chrysler uh, or Toyota plug and play harness, uh, similar with this as well. Cool thing about it is, like I said, once you uh, do get that, you can actually go to your computer like you would with any Maestro piece and you can flash the software for that specific vehicle and plug it right up. And the good thing about this is that uh, you don't necessarily need a laptop. You can actually use your Android device or Apple device as like an iPad mini, I'm sorry, iPad Pro that I have here, which uh, controls everything. Um, the good thing also is that you can uh, use it in just about any vehicle. It does have a switch on the side that allows you to either do high level in or low level inputs as well which is really really cool um, the interface is really really sweet it's really uh, it's kind of simple if I was hooked up to the uh, device this would light up blue and then you can actually go here and you can have your basic tuning and advanced tuning um, which can give you like I said you can control your uh, levels you can do your time alignment uh, you can do crossovers I mean, equalization, I mean, you can really do a lot on this. And uh, the cool thing is that, like I said, you can go here, you can mute the volume. Uh, like I said, you have your master volume here, you have your punch EQ, and then your sub, and all that's uh, completely controllable. And then you have your setup here. So you have your preferences, setup device, manage presets, and then you guys have your tune here as well. And like I said, just setting everything up, it's really, really, uh, let me get in focus here. Sorry guys. There we go. Okay, so we hit on setup. And like I said, you can have a standalone universal harness. You have your system gain, your knobs, I mean, inputs, outputs. I mean, you know, you can pretty much configure it any uh, way you like. And setting everything up, you just, the little vehicle car here at the top, you just hit that. And then we have the uh, standalone harness, or if you had the Maestro T harness, like I talked about earlier, you could just click on that. But if you're doing standalone, you hit that, you go to OK. You can either do your low level, high level, coax. So on the vehicle that I did, I did low level. I'm mean, sorry, I did high level. Oops, let me get that there. And like I said, on there's a switch on the actual device where you can actually click on high level or low level. You have your inputs, your vehicle. I mean, you got the USB, status light. I mean, it's really, really intuitive and really, really, I mean, it's hard to get this wrong. And then you can do uh, your inputs. So you can do front two channel, front and rears, Four channel, front sub, and you just select. Like I said, I did two channels, uh, and then had all the uh, amplifier. I'm sorry, the processor out. Do the front, and rear, sub, etc. So I just did two channels only. And then, like I said, you have your front left, front right, and that goes into channels one and two on the input side. Keep in mind, this is the input side, not output. All right. We'll go to the next screen, and then like I said, we have channels one and two, front doors, five and six, 
the rears, seven and eight. So, right. okay, they give you different options. Like I said, if you had a center channel, you had a tweeter, mid base, like a component set up front, but you wanted the rear to do a full range. I mean, it's, it's different, so many different configurations. If you had a three way set, you could do tweeter, mid range, and mid base. I mean, there's so many options that this device uh, allows. So we'll just go back to the front screen, our main screen. We have uh, channels one and two front, three and four, full range, and then seven and eight. I'm sorry, one and two front, five and six rear, and seven and eight. So, so we'll move on to the next screen. And then there's actually a, a knob, like a base knob, that you can actually uh, hook up to this device as well. We're gonna have, to have your sub control, but it gives you the option to actually, you can have control the sub, the punch base, or master level. Um, I didn't have a base knob installed on this bike, so I just hit not connect it. Right, and then that's pretty much set up. It's complete. And then once you go from there, like I said, you can go out to the home screen and then you can start either your basic tune. All right, you can go back, or you can go down here to your, uh, oops, sorry, tune, and you go to your advanced tune. And here you can actually get way, this is where the DSP really, really shines. I mean, you can have your input levels, I'm sorry, your output levels independent. So if you had one and two, three and four, five and six and seven, and eight, because this is eight channels of uh, output, you can control everything. I mean, you can link them together, or if you want them separate, you can actually have your left side or your right side uh, independent from your left side. So let's say you know, you're know you trying to gain match, or far, sorry, your time alignment, or you're having issues where one side is just playing entirely too loud, you want to have that slide, you can actually adjust that level. Um, I mean, it's really, really a sweet device. So, I mean, for the price, for what you're getting out of this, I mean, is this DSP uh, the end-all, be-all? Absolutely not. I won't lie to you and tell you that it is. But for what it does, um, I mean, this is really hard to beat for the price. Um, I mean, if you're really, you know, trying to win, like, an IASCA competition and you need, you know, 16 channels of output and just a crazy amount of uh, EQing, uh, this probably won't get the job done, but for what it is, if you're just trying to get in a good a good sound in your vehicle without having to spend, you know, $500 to $1,500, I mean, I would definitely recommend the DSR-1 all day. I mean, it's, it's very user-friendly. Um, if you're an installer that is trying to learn um, how to use processors and learning how to tune, and I mean, this one here gets it done very easy if you have you know basic knowledge of crossover points slopes uh, i mean it's, it's very intuitive the uh, user interface it's not really hard to use at all so um, overall i really enjoyed using this product i uh, really there's not really anything negative to say about it uh, i wish my only gripe is i wish that for the setup kind of like how the audison forces you to go to step a b c d I kind of wish this kind of uh, did the same. I mean, I was able to navigate and get through it just because I deal with a lot of signal processors as well. But uh, for your first timers, they might have a little issues with that, trying to figure out just because when you go to setup and you go to device, I mean, if you don't know to go here and configure everything, you might be, you know, kind of stuck and uh, trying to figure out what you got to do. But I mean, that's I don't know if that's a just an issue with the actual app or what. But other than that, I mean, it's a great uh, product and very very flexible. Like I said, you know, being that it does have the uh, Maestro uh, name on, you know that it, it works and that it also is flexible to work with a lot of vehicles because they do have the plug and play vehicle specific harnesses. So. Uh, install shouldn't be hard at all. So 
overall, it gets a thumbs up from me. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the uh, comment section. Uh, this is my first time actually doing an actual product review. So, um, like I said, I'm definitely learning how to do this product review stuff. Uh, try to do them as much as possible. And if you have any feedback on how I can get better and give more information, uh, definitely let me know. I don't want it to be a 20 minute, 30 minute video. I'll try to keep it around 10 to 15 minutes. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoy it. And like I said, I would definitely recommend the Rockford DSR-1 um, if you're in that specific range where you're not trying to spend an arm or leg, but you just want the basic uh, DSP functions. It's definitely a win in my go, or definitely a win in my book, sorry. So that's it. And as always, you can follow me on Instagram, on Markland Designs, and on uh, Facebook, on Markland Designs as well. So have a blessed day and take care.